Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joe Henderson from Joe Henderson Disc Golf. I'm here today to show you my entire disc golf disc collection. So I can't wait for you guys to see what I have. Buckle up, this is gonna be a long one. First off, I'm going to cover Discraft discs. Next up, Innova, then Dynamic discs, Latitude 64, and then finally, I have Prodigy and some other various molds. So Discraft is definitely my biggest collection. I actually work for Paige Pierce, so I often get discs whenever I go to events, and that's kind of why the Discraft is so heavy in my bag. I have one, two, three, four stacks of just Discraft discs. And first off, I think we'll start over here on this side. I think it's all my slower speed discs. This is such a special disc to me. My brother-in-law, Charlie, actually gave me this disc. It is the Prototype Fierce. Paige Pierce actually signed this disc for me when I went to the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship and I met her for the first time. I had been working for her for about maybe a month, two months already. And it was such a special thing to get signed by her. And yeah, super, super special keepsake. So thank you to my brother-in-law, Charlie, for this disc. Okay, keeping up with that fierce theme, I have a couple more fierces here in, in my collection. I have a 2022 Tour Series Fierce. This one I find has a little bit more of a stability to it, which I really like in a fierce. An understable fierce definitely rides the right, like almost a little bit too much for me, but I like the stability on the finish of this one. So I can feel like I can put a decent amount of torque on it and it will hold up. Next up, I have two fierces left. I have a, another Tour Series Fierce. This one again is a little bit more stable. I love the stable finish on it. It is definitely understable disc, but it has a little bit more of that stable finish at the end. And the last one I have is just a Crystal Fierce and it's in that Z plastic. It is Super, super nice, great for up shots that you want to carry to the right. Next up is my zone collection. We all know I love a good zone, so why not start off with that as well? So this zone I actually got when I went to the World Championships last year in 2022. I was in the Dynamic Disc Store and I was actually just kind of looking around, but I knew I needed a zone. It was one thing that I didn't bring with me on my trip. And I actually happened to run into Adam Hammes. So Adam, thank you for this disc. You saved a girl from having to buy one. So thank you so much for lending me this one and signing it. Got another zone here. I got this one from the Discraft Warehouse. Very, very nice disc. Beautiful swirl, couldn't pass it up. This one I actually ended up getting from Paige herself when I went to the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship um, out of her van. It was just an extra that she didn't want anymore, so. It's a beautiful zone, it's a double helix. It says it's the DNA series. It's a limited run zone. And I actually love the colors of that one. So thank you, Paige. This zone is just your classic ESP swirl. It's just beautiful and it does the job. It's exactly reliable, just like a zone should be. This is my tried and true favorite zone. You probably have seen this one many a time. It is my Disc Golf Pro Tour Series zone. It's a limited edition 2021 zone that I got at the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship. I love this one. And lastly, my Paul Macbeth six times Discraft zone. And this one is just a keepsake. I don't think I'll be putting this one in the bag. Okay, moving on, here we go to more slower speed discs. I actually have a couple over here that I wanted to show you before. These ones and these ones here. All right, next up we have the Page Pierce Soul. I have two of those. These are great for any shot that you want to fade to the right. It's even more understable than the Fierce. So if you ever need anything to go on an Anheuser line and carry to the right, these are your these are your friend. These will help you out a lot. Now on to my Buzz collection. And there's one plastic that I love the most in the Buzz, and that would happen to be, whoa, uh, that would happen to be the ESP Flex Buzz, or I guess the ESP Swirl Flex. This is a disc unlike any other Buzz I've ever seen. It has a little bit of flex to it, and it is just like, so nice. I love the way these fly and hit the ground. You don't get that much ground play when you're using one of these. And that's why I love it because it's just a point and shoot and then it'll just kind of fade and kind of stick where, it, where it's supposed to be. Super sticky on the ground, which I like because 
when you're doing an upshot or a big a big drive with like like you want it to be super accurate and hit the ground and not really have too much ground play this is amazing this one i got from otb at the otb open and it is a stamp that is made by kevin Heichi, and he actually is designing one of my stamps which is super special to me but yeah, this is from the OTB Open and love, love, love that stamp. It's really cool. I have a bottom stamp tour series swirl, uh, same plastic, but it's a Ledgestone 2022 edition. I got this one at Deeglow last year and I love that it's just a clean watermelon stamp. I think it looks so cool or like a watermelon swirl. And then the stamp is just on the back there. I think it looks so, so clean. I love a good bottom stamp, how about you? My next two buzzes are actually from the Champions Cup when Paige and Chris won last year. I've always been a good fan, a good fan of Chris Dickerson and obviously I work for Paige so I thought that that was pretty cool and we really love the buzz over in our house so had to pick those up. All right, and last up we have the Paul Macbeth six times world champion buzz and that's obviously the six six claw and it is super nice just got this one and it will definitely be a keepsake as well as that zone next up we have the page pierce stalker and i love a good esp stalker i find that it's like a buzz with a little bit of a stable finish super super nice it pushes just a little bit farther than the buzz but such a great disc so i have one two and then my third stalker is actually signed by Paige. I got this signed by her at the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship, and it is my favorite stalker. We have a couple ra Captain's Raptor, and then we also have just an ESP Swirl Raptor. Those are great for the, any, any forehand shot or any shot that you just wanna throw straight and have it hyzer finish. Next up, my Discraft Big Z Crush. This is the Ledgestone 2021 edition. I have a Sting, Titanium Discraft Sting. This one I got from my brothers and I haven't actually thrown it that much. So maybe that'll make the bag this year. Shout out to Missy Gannon. We have two Missy Gannon discs. This is the Chally SS and we like the Challenger and we like Missy Gannon. So that was an easy grab and we had to get her to sign that when we were in Pensacola, Florida visiting Paige. This one is awesome because it is a double stamp. You've got that little flower stamp going on there. And this is a Thrasher, very beautiful disc, also signed by Missy Gannon. And another Thrasher. This one is the 2022 Ledgestone Champion Thrasher and it is gorgeous color. With that gold and blue, the contrast looks so pretty. And beautiful swirl. We've got a Mantis. This one has seen some love. This was also gifted to me by my brothers, so thank you Steve and Andy for this one here. And then I've got two Discraft Scorches. I actually haven't gotten a chance to throw these yet, but I hope that they make big this year. We are just flying through these discs. This, this is great. Okay, next up we have a Heat. This one is also gifted to me by my brothers. This is a Huck Lob stamp and yeah. The Heat is awesome if you want anything to go under stable or right finish. Next up we have three Z-Swirl Surge SS's. These two I got at the World Championships. Love them. They've got a good little swirl, good colors on them. And then this one, I think we got this one at uh, GMC last year in 2022. So that's another Z-Swirl Surge SS. This one is a double stamp. Whew, almost done the two top rows, here we go. Okay, last on this top row, we have some nukes. This is a Paige Pierce nuke. Nice black stamp, good swirl. This one's from Jomez, a follow flight nuke. And it's beautiful. And this one is a lightweight, lightweight ESP nuke. And it's uh, one of Paige's newer lightweight lines. And this one is dyed from Throjo's actually. So thank you Throjo's. We made it to the bottom shelf here. Next up is my Undertaker, this is one of my favorite discs in my bag, for sure. I have loved this for many, many years and wiped the stamp on that one. Continuing on with that Missy Gannon trend, we have a Missy Gannon Undertaker, which is a great, great disc. This one is in that Z plastic and it definitely has more of a stable finish. So if I'm needing to fight a headwind, I'd use this guy. I have just an ESP Undertaker here. 
Next up, I have a couple more Undertakers. We have them in the Z plastic as well. These are the Paige Pierce Five Time Undertaker. We've got blue and purple. We've got yellow, green, and red. Lastly, we have one of my most special and prized possession discs of ever. This is the Jomez Pro Practice Round Undertaker. This is the Undertaker that I fell in love with, and we got it signed by all of the pros that were playing at the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship back in 2021. Yeah, wow, that's a long time already ago. We have a nice lighter weight Zeus, actually double stamped, from Jeff Corns. So thank you, Jeff, for snagging this beauty for me. It is very overstable still, but love it. We have the Hades. This is my Paul Macbeth Proto Hades. Beautiful disc. I love this one and it's definitely in my bag. Here's another Hades that Okanagan Discs Supply gave me. It is such a cool disc. White with the like hearts on the uh, heart stamp. And it's pink and white and I love it and I think it's really pretty. And we have an Onyx. I have wanted to love the Onyx so badly, but this one's just slightly too overstable for me. So I'm trying to beat it in and make it fit the bag. We have two Athenas. These are the test flight Athenas that we got at Worlds and they are very pretty. And I really like this watermelon one. All right, if you've made it this far into the video, you have made it to the passions. I have a lot of passions. I kind of have an obsession and whenever we go to an event, I always grab one. First off, we have just the ESP passions. This is the proto prototype dr driver. And then we have a bunch of first runs. And I will just go through those really quickly because they are all the same thing. And this last one we got signed. Very pretty disc. This one's also super special to me because this was a disc that Throwjoes gave me and they dyed this for me in my colors that I love for my bag. So love this one and it's super lightweight. It flies really, really nice. Okay, so coming up next, we have some passions that were from Paige's series. Last year, she did a collection. She did five different releases of her passions, and I think I have four out of the five, I think. All right, so the next one is a banyan tree, and Alyssa and Paige actually sat under it, and there was fireflies all around, so this one's pretty special to her, and it's a very cool stamp. The next one would be the moon moth stamp. There's one that Paige signed herself, very pretty. We've got this one. This one is actually in my bag. It's nice and lightweight, super understable, which I like. And then there's this guy here. Okay, next up we have the mushroom and the forest. And this one is from GMC, which GMC, there's a lot of mushrooms in Vermont. It's kind of symbolism of that. And it's just cool. Lastly, we have some glow passions. So this one is a color glow passion and it has like technology when it in the sun, it will go a certain color, and then when it's not in the sun, it will stay white. So it goes pink in the sun. Um, and then we have another passion. This is from, I think, the Ledgestone booth at D-Glow. I think that's where we got that one. And then we have a glow passion that Paige actually gave me at Champ Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship. I have some minis here. I have the Paige Pierce Fierce mini and some Buzz minis. Kind of cool. So after that, we've made it through all of the Discraft molds. We are moving on to uh, Innova, and then we'll move on to Dynamic Discs. Moving on to Innova Discs. We have the Jomez Pro Mako 3. That one is the one that they sent me. And then we have a Beast, a Champion Beast. Beautiful disc. This one's actually in my bag currently. Next up, we have a Leopard, a Star Leopard. And then we have an Holly Finley Mako 3. We have a Champion Valkyrie. This was one of my very first discs I ever had. This one in the Sidewinder, actually. After that, we've got a Joe Mez Pro, which I wiped off the Mez Pro, so it says my name. This is actually a Road Roadrunner. I have my trusty Sidewinder, Star Sidewinder. This has been in my bag for quite some time, and I love it a lot. Next up, we have a Star Sidewinder, which was actually dyed for me from Sam from Carrot Top Dyes in Grand Prairie. So this one's super cool because it actually says Joe Back Thursday on the back and then it has my PDGA number right here. So that's pretty cool. Love that disc and I actually haven't thrown it much because it is a pretty special disc to me. Uh, moving on, we have a Destroyer from Joe Mez Pro, which again, I wiped off the Mez Pro so it says my name. 
This is a, from the women's global event, this is a mamba and it is so lightweight, it's 148 gram. Another sidewinder, this is a champion sidewinder. This one and my other one were my two most used discs when I first started playing. Then we have a Thunderbird, a Jeremy Colling Tour Series Thunderbird. We have a Firebird, Nate Sexton Tour Series Firebird from 2021. I have a couple of those. I have another Firebird. This is a Laser Wolf Disc Golf Firebird as well. And then I have just a couple more left in this Innova category. Oh, there we go. We have the Anthony Barella T-Bird 3 which I love this disc, it flies so nicely. This one needs to make it back in the bag. I have a Blizzard Wraith, another th uh, Star Thunderbird, which I got used from Okanagan Discs. I have a Star Wraith, and this one's in a lighter weight, 163 gram, and then another Star Destroyer. All right, moving on to all of my dynamic disc molds. And the first one being the Chris Clemens Clemonade Lucid X Glimmer Verdict. And Chris gave this to me actually before I even started playing, well, before I even started playing professionally. So thank you to Chris Clemens for this disc. It is awesome. I love the Verdict and I used that a lot when I first started playing. I got this one actually from my friend Cole. He knew I loved the Felon and he thought that I should try out the first round of Vader. I do love this as well. It's a very nice disc. Speaking of felons, I actually have quite a few of those <laughs> coming right up. So I have a Lucid Air felon. I have this felon here that my brother got me dyed from tie dyed discs. From Ty, thank you very much for this one, Andy. Love it. I have another Lucid felon. Uh, another Lucid felon. This is the first one that I was using in a heavier plastic. And then a, I switched to a lighter weight Lucid felon so that um, my arm could handle it a little bit easier. I have a Spark from Latitude 64, which I really like for those flare skips. Super overstable and you can forehand this disc so, so nicely. I have a Sapphire, which I love. Beautiful disc. A Diamond in a nice lightweight plastic. I have another Diamond. Similar weight. And then I have a Grace, which is actually in my bag. And then I have this Saint Pro signed by Kristen Tatar. And yeah, I had to get that signed by her because she is such a good role model for the sport. And I just think she's doing amazing things. Moving on to Prodigy. Let's see what I have here. This was from Tournament Capital Open. And Thomas Gilbert actually came to the event and he won the event in 2022. And this is a PA3 and they did this stamp design for him. So. I love, love, love the look of that and had to scoop one of those up for Thomas. Cam Solo Dies did this one. This is actually a faded die of my cabin. So my cabin actually has a disc golf course on it and it is called the Dome and that is a picture of it there. So very cool to see. And the artwork was designed by actually Levi and Victoria Harder. So thank you to them for the artwork. I have a PA4. Casey Hanmeyer, A3, and he is a Canadian top pro, so thank you, Casey, on signing that one. He signed it on his signature, so I th thought that was pretty funny. I think this is an F5, yep. And I don't know about you guys, but have you noticed that, like, Prodigy discs, like, when you don't use them for a long time, there's, like, a chalk that's left on the disc? I don't know if anyone else experiences that, but I have an F7. It's 159 grams. This is ho hopefully going to be a roller disc one of these days, we'll see. I have an H1 V2 hybrid driver, 400 plastic, and an H1 V2 again in 400, 400. And then I have an H3 V2 and another H3 V2. Next up are my putters and mids from Prodigy. See that chalkiness? I don't even know what that is, but I haven't wiped these off in a little while. They've just been sitting on the shelf and that's just how they look. So next up I have an M3 from Prodigy. And then I have my putters. I actually putt with the P model S. And so I have my two putting putters and I have about, I wanna say like 10 more just for practice. But these are them, and then I have a couple Duraflex uh, putters for upshots. 
And then moving on, I've got some random molds in my bag here. We're in my, I've got some random molds in the collection so we can move on with those next. One of my favorite discs that actually surprised me the most, I would say, so far in 2022 and 2021 would be the inner core. You guys, if you have not picked up one of these discs, first off, they're basically saving the world because they're recycling used plastic. And they are just amazing human beings. I got to hang out with Jesse and Tom at, at the Disc Golf Pro Tour conference, and it was so, so fun to hang out with them. And they put a lot of work into these, so I really highly suggest grabbing one. They also fly amazing. All right, next up I have an, a Discmania FD, and this was gifted to me by Esther Schultz. So thank you, Esther, that's a beautiful disc. I have two RPM discs. Both of them actually are the Coterre. These were actually gifted to me by one of you, one of the people that follow me. So thank you for that. That is like such a cool disc. It was when I was trying to look for an overstable distance driver. I think I've landed on the Destroyer, but I do like these and maybe they'll make the bag someday, we'll see. All right, next up we have the MVP discs and I think I only have actually two molds, but four discs. So I have the MVP Relay, which is a really, really nice disc. It flies super great. This one I got when I became a PDGA member. And then the next one would be the Simon Lazat Hex, the Lazatl. I haven't even thrown this yet, but I'm super stoked to see how they fly because if it's anything like the Buzz, I'm going to love it. Last but not least, this is the last of what I have here. I have the Thought Space Pathfinder. And this one was a disc that I wanted in the bag, but I love that it's glow plastic so I can use it at night too. So really nice disc. Next up, I got this from the industry conference with the Disc Golf Pro Tour and I went as a speaker. I got this one and it's called, uh, it's the Clash Discs Popcorn. So I haven't even tried it yet, but it feels amazing. And I got to see them at the conference. So that was great. I got this one also for playing in the Disc Golf Pro Tour Scramble at for the industry conference. This one is an Alpha by Lone Star Discs. So I think it's like their version of the Destroyer, I think. And next up I have a K1 Soft Berg. I do love the Berg. This was in the bag for a long time. And if ever there's a shot that requires um, a lot of hills or a lot of uneven ground or like skippy ground, I would use the Berg because it just sits and it's like that softer plastic. It sits up on the hill there. And then I have the Glow Svea. And this is also cast Castaplast. And I use this a lot, again, in glow rounds. And it is such a pretty disc. It flies beautifully. And it is the last of the discs that I have to show you in my collection. That was my entire disc golf disc collection. I hope you found it interesting and you got to take away some of the molds that I use the most. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you want to see more from me. I would also like to know what is your most used disc in your bag and do you have several molds of them? I would love to know that because obviously I had a lot of molds that had repeats. So please let me know and thank you guys again for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.